support of United States government sanctions and continued pressure of cessation hostilities, the call for national dialogue, and accountability of human rights violation in Oromia, in Oromia region and across Ethiopia by government forces, Eritrean soldiers, Amara militia. The Oromo community of Minnesota and Minnesota Advocacy Group is here to stand uh, to stand against the extrajudicial killings of Oromo youth and human rights abuses in Oromia. Ethiopia is experiencing unrest with an ongoing internal conflict and disputes with Sudan and neighboring countries. The Ethiopian government is now preparing to hold elections in June. However, since last summer, thousands of Oromos have been arrested and taken as political prisoners, including former Minnesota resident Jawar Mohammed and other prominent Oromo political leaders. As we mourn the death of our beloved brother, artist, activist Hachalu Ndesa, who was assassinated by the Ethiopian government a year ago, we continue to honor his legacy by working towards achieving a sustainable democracy and respect for human rights. We would also like to reiterate our support for the United States government's actions imposing sanctions on those responsible for the continued violence and human rights abuses in Ethiopia and calling on the government of Ethiopia and Eritrea to remove all Eritrean troops out of Oromia. We call a for cessation for, of hostilities in the country inclusive national dialogue and withdrawal of Eritrean soldiers from Oromia. They're engaged in acts of genocide and crimes against humanity. We urge the United States government and international communities to push for an independent investigation into the death of Hachalu Ndesa and human rights abuses being perpetrated against civilians in Oromia region and other and across the country. While the Oromo community appreciates the United States' attentive, attentiveness to the Oromia, Oromo political prisoners and the Senate Foreign Affairs Committee hearing, an independent investigation into extrajudicial killings and the end of illegal detention of Oromo, Oromo opposition party figures is crucial in stabilizing the country and surrounding areas. It is becoming more evident that the country continues to face to face a complete destabilization. <laughs> Excuse me, okay. It has become, and the opportunity to take decisive action is closing rapidly. We feel addressing the following signif significant factors in the entire country is essential to address the crisis. Lack of freedom of expression. Following the assassination of Hajalu Ndesa and the arrest of prominent Oromo political party figures, the government shut down the internet to cover up human rights violations following the unrest. Oromos have been systematically targeted and killed by roaming violent gangs following the incidents mentioned above. Just recently, Oromo have been jailed for wearing yellow to show solidarity with political prisoners. Ethiopia's instability impacts East Africa significantly and could cause one of the first one of the worst humanitarian crises in the region. We urge the United States government to keep to keep calling for the Ethiopian government to stop the sham election, the Ethiopian government to force the withdrawal of Eritrean troops out of Oromia and to free all Oromo political prisoners and to end the war in Oromia. So, free Jawa Muhammad. Free Bakala Garba. Free Abdira Gasa. Free Kennesa Ayana. Free Dajanit Afa. Free Big Mikhail Boran. Free Melissa de Ripsa. Free Shamsuddin Taha. Free Lammi Benya. Free Dawit Abdata. Free Johannes Garba. Free Oromia. Free Oromia. Okay,